Hey, beloved. Today, I want to talk to you about three things that I believe all women have in common. Before I do, I want to ask you, do you know what it is that God has called you to do? And if you do, how are you walking that out in this season of your life? I'm asking that for a reason. Now, I'm going to get back to that. But the three things, and I'm going to tell you why and how God told me this. I believe all women have three things in common. is because we all have these desires that when they are not met in a proper way, causes us to go out and search for them in unhealthy ways but when we meet them in the way that God has designed us to when they get met in the way that God has designed for us to have them met then it transforms our identity and the way that we live out our faith and our calling it makes us who God called us to be and it empowers us to walk in our callings with clarity, confidence, and courage. And so I believe that all women have three things in common. And those are number one, a desire to be loved. A desire to be accepted and a desire to feel beautiful. At the core of these desires are, is the inborn image of God within us. He is love. He is the grantor of eternal acceptance. And he is the beautiful one. The thing is, as women, as I've already said, what we believe about love, acceptance, and beauty has a significant impact on how we feel about ourselves and how we see the world and how we show up in the world. And so it, it, it changes the way we measure ourselves. If we don't believe that we are beautiful, if we don't believe that we are loved, if we do not believe that we are accepted by God, then we'll go out and we'll look, it for, look for it from someone else. If we don't believe that we're beautiful, if we're not made to believe that we are loved, that we are accepted, and that we are beautiful, even by not only our earthly fathers, but those people who God has put around us when we are young, then we will spend a lifetime looking for it. And so God wants you to know that you are loved, that you are accepted, and that you are beautiful in his eyes. In, in As God's daughters, we are supposed to, first of all, find, find and define love, acceptance, and beauty first in him. And then allow that to shape our identities and the way that we live our faith. And, and we find it based in his word. We find out that how God loves us and how we are supposed to love others and how we are supposed to give and receive love based off of his word and how we are supposed to reject things that are not love but are, um, what is it called? counterfeits of God's love. We, uh, where it's eros or and not agape love. God wants you to understand the difference so that you can know his love. Eros is the erotic type of love that a husband is supposed to have for his wife after he has um, agape, the love of God and the care for his wife. But many women accept the eros or the erotic love before they accept the agape they they mistake it for one thing because someone is lusting after you and so these things are so important to you showing up in the different seasons of your life to um to walk out your calling and the reason why i say that and the reason why i ask you the question about um what has god called you to do because the thing is about our calling, it is more than the work that we do. It's an invitation from God to be who he's called us to be, to um, to have a relationship with him first, and then to be who he's called us to be, and then to do the good works he's called us to do 
um, that can and do change through the different uh, seasons of life. So we take on different assignments and different roles through the different seasons of life and also to live an abundant life. So he doesn't just call us to do works, but many times we're looking for the do because we don't feel validated in any other area. So we're trying to do things. We're trying to do works like Mary did, like Martha did. Uh, she was doing so many things for Jesus and Mary was just sitting at his feet, hearing his word. She was cultivating a relationship with him and that relationship with him was affecting her identity and the way that she would live out her faith. And whereas Martha was spending more time trying to do things for God than spend time with him. And that also affected affected her identity and the way that she lived at her face faith which was in a fear based mode of doing things and always and there's nothing wrong with doing things but there is something with busy work when God is calling you to sit with him and there is something wrong with trying to do things to make yourself feel like you belong or that you're good enough when God says you are good just as you are come sit with me and I will give you confidence for your calling I will give you courage to walk it out in the face of those who say that you don't deserve it and I will give you clarity about what you're supposed to do in every season and so God has charged me in this season to remind your his daughters that is you that you are loved that you are accepted and that you are beautiful in his sight and that that validation comes from him alone and that you do not need to compare yourself to anyone because he's given us everything to walk in the power of his love acceptance and beauty and to be transformed by that and to live out the clarity and the courage that that brings us but the problem is If we do not believe that we're loved by God and that we're accepted by him, we will seek man's acceptance at the cost of diminishing ourselves. Have you ever done that? Have you ever accept, um, sought someone? It could be a man or a woman, a friendship, or wanting to be a part of a certain group, and you dis diminish yourself because you do not believe that they will accept you the way that you are right now, so you try and show up the way you think they want you to be, or... Um, you will not be confident in the beauty and you won't be able to look at yourself in the, in the mirror. You're always going to find something wrong if you don't see that you are made in the image of God who is beautiful and everything that God makes is good and beautiful. And so these are the things that God wants us to to think about and we don't know that God loves us we will not think that he cares enough about us to care what happens to us or to answer our prayers so these things really really matter to God that in this season as times are changing and everything is unstable in the world he wants you to be rooted and grounded in his love and his acceptance and his beauty and I said God I wrote this book love a call to God's daughters um in 2016 or 17 and I said Lord what would you have me to say you know I could talk about prophecy I could talk about many things and the Lord said I want you to call my daughters I want you to go back to this message and so it, and why why would he want me to go back to this message because unfortunately this message is still true what I have written right here I can speak to you today and be absolutely true this day of social media and reality TV too many of us have allowed our thinking to be influenced by the world's definite definition of love acceptance and beauty and as a result our God-given desires are not met in healthy ways. We are seeking to get these desires, and that's taken us off the trajectory of what God called us to, a relationship with him, an identity in Christ, and that being the most important thing in your life and what he's called you to do and knowing that you are enough right now in this season and that you don't have to do anything extra you don't have to meet someone else's standards or be or measure yourself by the world standard or even by some religious standard that you as long as you're serving God and doing what he's called you to do in this season um that that's enough for him and to, God wants you to know 
that you, he did not design you to be conformed to this world, nor to a religious standard, a godly standard, yes, a biblical standard, yes, but not a religious um, set of standards and rules and regulations. But he wants you to be transformed by the renewing of your mind, to know that you are completely loved, totally accepted, and beautiful and wonderfully created by him. He wants you to believe that you are worthy of genuine love and acceptance from others without pretense, the same way that you are worthy of that love and acceptance by him without pretense. And that your beauty is defined by more than the clothes you wear, your body types, your makeup or hair. I wear makeup. I will put me on a good wig in a minute. Sometimes I'll wear my ponytail or I'll wear my hair down, but it doesn't define me. I see myself as beautiful, whether I cut my hair off, whether I have short hair, whether I wear afro, whether I wear a ponytail, or whether I wear a closure or a wig or whatever. And so God wants you to know that those are not the things. Yes, there is something called outward beauty that most women strive to, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's when it drives you. It drives you and you don't like the way you look and you hate yourself because there's something that you don't like about yourself that, and you can't look at yourself and say, God made me good. That is where the problem comes in. And if you don't believe that God loves you, you will approach him through religion and not relationship. You won't believe that he cares enough about you to enter into your affairs and change things that are happening to you. So you won't pray to him. You'll try and figure them out on your own. You'll try and um, figure out what you're called to do or go find success in the world instead of trusting that he has a good plan, a uh, hope, and a future for you. And that's not what he wants you to do. And if you don't believe that he accepts you, then that you're accepted by grace without works. You will try and earn his acceptance instead of simply stepping into it. So today I want to call you, daughter. I'm calling you. That's an invitation. I'm calling you to the heart of the Father. I'm calling you to step into his love, acceptance, and beauty. I'm calling you back to the heart of God. I'm calling you to look at yourself in the mirror and look beyond the outward appearance to your own soul and see that you are so loved by your father that there's nothing that you could do to make him love you anymore and there's nothing that you can do to make him love you any less that you are totally and totally and completely accepted in the beloved. You are highly favored by God right now and that you are beautiful. I'm calling you to know this as you carry out your calling, as you carry out your assignment right now in this season of your life. I don't know if you are um, a mother. I don't know if you are divorced or if you're just married or if you are just a wife or you're a young woman who hasn't experienced all of those, those, any of those things yet. I don't know if you are in corporate or you're in church and, and uh, ministry or you're in both of those worlds. If you're just beginning your career or you're some way in, you may be in the middle of your life and trying to figure out what's next for you in this season of your life. I want you to know that God's love, acceptance, and beauty has you in this season because see it doesn't only shape our identity but when we know that we're loved by God when we know that we're accepted by him when we know that we're beautifully made beautiful and wonderfully made not just on the outside but in the inside then that shapes the way that we live out our faith and you need to know that God's love can match this season you need to know that God's acceptance has you in this season you are highly favored his grace 
grace has you in this season. His grace got you, sis, in this season. That there's nothing that's going to happen that if you call on the name of the Lord and you come back to him, that he won't see you through. That you are beautiful and that you have, he has a beautiful life for you. That you do not have to settle for less in this season. And I'm not just talking about with um, men and in relationships. I'm talking about waiting on the Lord because he has a hope and a future for you. And that whatever you're going through in this season, he wants you to allow his love, acceptance, and beauty to transform your identity because we go from glory to glory and he wants you to allow it to empower you to triumph he wants you to be empowered by the knowledge of his love for you that means being knowing and being intimately acquainted with how much god loves you to be intimately acquainted with how much god accepts you to the point where you accept yourself and you do not have to wait on a click or a club or someone's approval because you know that you are accepted and approved by god because of his grace now this is not sloppy grace where you go out and do whatever you want this is a knowing that you are accepted because the blood you are accepted because jesus christ and to know that you are beautiful to have the confidence in how you look and how you feel and it's important that you know that you're beautiful why because in this day and age when it is you know, it's a Kardashian age. It's an age where everybody is making up everything. It's not just, you know, a, a wig or a weave or a perm. At this point, it's, you know, people are changing their body types. They're changing their facial looks. Women look completely different without um, their makeup on. And then they get to the place where they're scared to go outside without a full face of makeup on. God wants you to know that you are beautiful and beauty is not just an outward appearance, but for God's daughters, it's the inward beauty, the incorruptible beauty that he puts in your heart. That will matter. That will take you further than looks could go. That will take you further than makeup or a cute outfit or, you know, being attractive to a man can ever take you. The, your beauty, your pleasantness, your kindness toward others attracts God, attracts kingdom, attracts the right people around you. And he just wants you to know that that's what's going to empower you to triumph in this season. Whatever season you're in, God's got you and he's gonna cause you to triumph and you're gonna do that through your knowledge of his love, acceptance, and beauty. So if this bless you, please subscribe. And if you want more, I, I'm ready to go in. I gotta obey the Lord and we're gonna do some things and we're gonna get into the power of God's love, acceptance, and beauty to transform us into the women that he's called us to be and cause us to triumph through every season of life. And so if you would like to um, hear more of these videos not just about your calling but how God is able to see you through your calling in every season of life then let me know in the comments and give me a thumbs up on this video and share it with your tribe and another woman that you know that needs to know how much her heavenly father loves her God bless you until next time